Hello everybody, my name is Waymaster. Welcome to Penumbra Overture. And this is, as you can see, another frictional game. And, uh, I gotta say this is episode one of a series of two or three episodes. Um, this is Overture. The next one would be Black Plague, and there's another one called Requiem. But we're gonna go ahead and start with this one first. And see what this story is, because clearly it looks like that. Philip, or he's basically uh, at a funeral for his mother, I believe so. But anyways, we should get started, shall we? Alright, easy. Let's just do normal for now. Yeah, let's start. My story begins in February year 2000. Oh yeah, it's kind of an older game, but I gotta say, like... For my part in this allegory. I'm not going to make the same mistakes my father made. Howard vanished from my mother's life before I was even in it, so when he sent me a letter a few days after Mum's funeral, it was the first I've ever heard from him. Pity he was dead. Writing from beyond the grave must be a genetic habit in my bloodline. His letter contained a key, instructions, pleas for forgiveness. I figured the dead don't have much use for absolution, so I turned to his prophetic passing, which he inexplicably expected to come any day. Clearly averse to explanations, my father preferred to leave directions to a bank on Mayfair I'd never even heard of. In that bank was a safety deposit box in his name, and myself as executor. Of course, I went as he knew I would. I discovered that despite the evidence, he'd been legally declared dead almost 30 years ago, and said so the old book and collection of notes I found had, in the eyes of the law, been mine all this time. My father's instructions were to burn the documents, raise no further questions. But that was his error. No man's immune to the shameful trappings of curiosity, and my humanity got the better of me. The university I taught at was world-renowned for two things, physics and linguistics. I represented the first, and the man who stood for the second was stumped by my recent acquisition. The book was indecipherable. The notes, however, showed a location somewhere in uninhabited northern Greenland. It took me almost a year to book the last flight I'd ever taken. As I watched civilization disappear along with Heathrow, I realised my father had disappeared three decades ago, almost to the day, and I considered in turn what it was that I was leaving behind. We landed on a strip of ice a few feet wide, and within minutes I was pulling away on a chartered boat, beginning the 12-hour journey that would lead me into my past. Alright, so it looks like we're in uh, a new place here. I believe he's at Greenland. And uh, obviously his father's been dead for a while and it's loading. Okay, so here are the notes. And oh yeah, this see this quality, you know, it might not be the best. But finally, we're almost stuck. I better show uh, stow my gear. I may, ooh, I may be far from home, but chances I'll still pick things up. With left mouse button, I could still take a closer look at the things using right mouse. Okay. Whiskey. Empty. Shame. Dang. Can I... And I guess I can pick it up and throw it out around like normal. Notebook, interesting information, and reminders, P. I think I left my torch at the desk drawer next to the bed. It, it can be opened by using basically the left mouse on it. But basically a little tutorial instruction. Ooh, can I, I can take this can. Can soup. What is this? Ooh, can I take this jacket? No? Mm. Always travel with a padlock and a key. Mine's in the tab. Okay. Oh, inventory tab. Okay. There you go. Alright, just like amnesia. There's not much light in there. Maybe flashlight is okay. Yeah, sure. Gear inventory. You could go shortcut with G. Cool. Get everything. At it. Oh, and some extra batteries from a flashlight, which is good. Always good. So we got shark jaw. Mercy wooden desk. I could get the drawer open. I find it. Okay. So just like amnesia, you could go ahead and. Desk. There's my flashlight. 
tab or using F. Let's see, it's good. Let's see gear. Oh, oh, I should really leave that. If all the torch cuts out. Okay. A book off on using F. Almost there, it seems. Pretty or do this. Oh, pretty or do the little thing. Glad I'm getting out of here soon. They may, they must eat and sleep, and well, well, we'll do any, every, any, literally everything else. Okay, pretty much in a few weeks' time. Oh, look at the chest from Amnesia. This, all right. Dearest Eric, just a quick note before you set sail and leave me once again. I've left you a little something to remind me by, remember me by, in the chest, at, at the foot of your bed. I really don't know why you. Uh, why you still only have one bed on board taking shifts because of it is no way to get to your rest. But what does a fisherman wife know and of life at sea? Alright, obviously his wife. I'll be praying every night for you to catch and eat and come back home safely. I watch the overalls before I forget. The Harrisons in the village have asked me to see if you were coming in me by any trout. Maybe you're most likely out for summer out of season. Da 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 da, -da see special. I'll do right, the ship's captain deserves a special treatment once in a while. Take care of my love. Alright, thank you. Fisherman's wife love letter. That's cool. Alright. Do we get we got a booze? Yes. From the smell I say sequel to Personal belongings or bait. Hmm. So are we almost? We're almost down. We're almost out of here. Oh wait, hold on. I'm starting the map is good. Or a decade or else. Is that a decade or it's out of date. Yes, it's out of date. But landmarks don't change much in Greenland. So I pretty. So I got a pretty decent idea of where I'm headed. Okay. So. They don't need anything else? No? No? Alright. Well, this is our adventure up a number overture. As I stepped off the boat, setting out into the blizzard that had formed around me, I had realized that utterly devoted I have discovered by my fashion uh, no idea what to expect. Soon enough my concerns were justified. I don't know whether I am lost, my orientation, or my spirit first, but I lost feeling in my extremities soon after and new hypothermia was setting in. I started looking for shelter. Ooh, boy, that wind is so cold. Don't know where I am. Need to find shelter soon. Alright, let's go. Okay, so we're getting snowed in here. My entire head went numb a long time ago, but I can still hear the wind roaring past. Oh god. can hold and interact with what? Eh. Interact with what? What am I interacting with? Okay, still throw things where right mouse, but what am I throwing it at? That's the question. Let's take this just in case. Am I dying to frost? It's a weird roar. Direct mode. Hard to act direct. Oh cool. Okay. Open. Oh, oh. There you go. I hope to God it's not frozen inside as well. So weak. But it. Okay, come on. Come on. Oh, shh. Come on. Oh, come on. Do I have to use this? Yes. <laughs> Is this going to really work? Eh. <laughs> There you go! Oh my god, it worked. Come on. Come on! What am I even doing? I don't even know what I'm doing. Ready to tell you about your Lucy? Anyways, um... And this... Hold on, let's check out the notes and stuff. To-do list, nothing in to-do list, notes... Alright. Come on. Oh, the, come on. It doesn't want me to go? Come 
on now. Oh, did I do it now? Yes, okay, finally. As I say, I was like messing with it a lot. But anyways, let's go ahead and get down. So yeah, that wind is very loud. Yeah, I turned up my, my phone very loud, so I, I think that's also why I'm having a hard time reading, literally hard time reading and talking because I can't even hear myself a little bit. Maybe I should turn it down a little bit. You all right? Demon voices speaking in my head. Um, I think that's not good. But hey, Jesus, my head! I can't believe I fell that far and survived. Although, looking around me, I didn't think I. Oh God, this far past. Look at that. <gasps> so deep. So deep, man. So deep. Take this with me. Empty boxes of ammunition. What is this place? I think it's a bunker. Possibly a bunker. What does it say? Emergency exit procedures. Burr, 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 burr. I probably can't read that. Ooh, got something. Steel rod. Low. Flare. Hmm. It's a 24 hour Russian pack. Long past its sell by date. Yeah, I don't think I need that. Let's see. I can swing the hammer with a left mouse button and I could take. Hmm. I can make it back swing. Mouse right. And then follow. Th through by pushing left. Okay, the posing works too. Pulling back, thrusting forward, and stabbing in motion. I reckon if I hold down right mouse button and after I swing, I should, I still be able, to, uh, be able to look around. Okay. All rations messed up and not working right, probably. Yep. What is this place? What's going on? Okay, so we got a hammer and flare and stuff. And look, another flare. This is cool. I gotta say. It's stuck. There must be a find. Okay, how about this? Christ, what am I thinking? How about this? Come on. Come on. Wait. Wait, what the heck am I doing with my hand? What, what the heck am I doing? Okay, how about... Uh, some action if it's time. So... Am I gonna throw something at it or something? Hmm. Break it! Oh, hold on. Ram! Oh, don't, don't want to blow it, board it up. Okay, so let's see, it's boarded up. I must have an underground installation, but the only door out of the room is seems to be locked. Need to find some other way around. Some way around? Why not through it? Okay. Let's see, look up, look around, look around. Shadows around. 50 year olds, years since they've been down here. Yeah. Oh! Ooh! Secrets! Mmm. Secrets. Hold as. Oh god. Bare hands. I jotted down a note just in case. There's some boards selling in the hole. So, okay, I might be able to break it. Okay, I'm gonna break through it with my, not my flashlight. Nope, not my that. Inventory. Right? It's inventory. Inventory. Let's go. Okay, I thought. What the heck? Come on, steal metal rod. Nah. Oh shit! Oh, okay. I gotta freaking. Okay, I gotta like. Okay, that's what I gotta do. Okay, click and then swing. All right, that makes sense. Hello, hello. What's up there? How about what's down here? Or over here? Uh, circle, eh? Wow, this maybe is in a circle. Okay, how about? Going back real quick. What is this? What is this? Back to where we were? Okay, so that is a circle. Okay. Now let's try in here. But, if anything, let's see, smack this. Yeah. Yeah. Back. What is this? 
looks like some kind of industrial mechanism. Although there's a hole in the center and no way to operate it. So I might need a rod. Yes. No. Ooh! Push it open. Can I take it out? Can I take it out now? Hmm. Oh, that's what was in the way. It was this. See? So there's the beginning. Ooh. Whatever I was descending into, it was hundreds of feet below the ground, been protected by the two solid metal hatches locked, uh, located in the remote Arctic wilderness and buried beneath the snow. I didn't know what to expect, but it made me feel something I hadn't felt since I was a child. Probably fear. Blah, 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 blah. Once again, I felt like I did when I was in school, surrounded by closing rings of older kids. Knowing anyone that might help me, friends, parents, teachers, were too scared, or too far away. Mm. I died and it was just in case, but hey, just in case, I'm just going to save all that for the next video. Oh my gosh, this is pretty good. I think this is one of the earlier games. There couldn't be down here, heroes. See you in the next video. Later!